Pioneer! Magic! Kind of looks like a pioneer. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, so. He's got to be all warm because you, yeah. you don't know what the temperature's like there. And you can always exactly. take layers off. Yeah. Could be snowing right now. Could yeah. be 35 degrees and sunny. Who knows? Anyway, as stated, we are doing Magic's brand new format today, Pioneer. It's kind of like modern, kind of like standard. It's somewhere it's, in between. It's, it's like modern without all the shuffling. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's uh, and and a lot less impressive one drops. Yes, honestly, it's a lot less impressive one yeah. drops. Poor Just lightning bolt. Looking looking through Scryfall or whatever for one drop options, and God, <laughs> they really don't like one drops these days. You can but, opt. Uh, yeah, you can opt. You can opt, and you will be opting. So that's fun. Anyway, uh, yeah. So we're playing Pioneer. Uh, Pioneer is everything from M14 forward, I believe. Is that about yeah, right? Return to Ravnica. Return to Ravnica. Or, and then yeah. M14 was, was set after. Yeah. Yeah. That makes sense. So, sort of like half of the card pool of modern, I would say. Yeah, roughly. somewhere about there. Yeah. So, I am playing a self-driving cars deck. It's based around SRAM. The Tesla deck. Yes. <laughs> it's based around SRAM and uh, a bunch of bunch of his little vehicle collection. So, you have, like, Consulate Dreadnought being the prime candidate it's a 7-eleven for one and uh if you start that thing's engine it's pretty big it's a pretty big dreadnought of course yeah it has start your engine siege mm -hmm. modification yep and that uh vehicle that can activate other vehicles and the harvester or peace walker peace walker. colossus that's what it is yeah anyway i'm also running uh nahiri for it's a good card heart <laughs> of kieran yeah uh, heart of kieran it's really good with that and uh, good for taking out enchantments. There's a surprising amount of enchantments in this format. Not in this particular matchup, but, like, there are quite a few enchantment-based things. Jeskai Ascendancy being a particular one. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. So, that's, that's what my deck's trying to do. It's trying to play a bunch of vehicles that seem unassuming until they're attacking you for, like, 36 in one turn. So, it's pretty sweet. And as for me, I am playing good old Arclight Phoenix. Yeah. So... Oops, all spells, pretty mm -hmm. much. Because uh, Young Pyro was an M14, so you get that, yes. and you get uh, beautiful Arclight Phoenix. Mm -hmm. I think we Opt, also have uh, the Flip Jace. Yeah. Yep. Because he can, you Fringe know, prodigy. He, he can help us discard the Phoenixes, but he can also help mm -hmm. us buy back spells to get those three spells in a turn. Yeah. And then we have very slim pickings on one drops, like yes. we have Opt. <laughs> And then we have Expediate, which uh, <laughs> expedite, gives a, I expedite, yes, which gives a creature haste and draws a card. So that can be useful for Jace to flip him the turn he comes in, mm -hmm. or uh, th we have a couple of the big Drakes that could you know surprise. But it's mostly there because it's one mana and it draws a card. Mm -hmm. And then we play weird cards like Pieces of the Puzzle, which gets to reveal five to choose an yeah. instant of sorcery, so it helps get Phoenixes. And then Cathartic Reunion and Tormenting Voice, because we didn't have the new one, to yeah. <laughs> pitch cards from our hand and draw them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sounds pretty good. So uh, that was quite a long blurb since we had to explain all this stuff. So uh, to decide goes first, want to just go classic and roll a hundred-sided dice? Hundred-sided dice. You might have to catch this. It's kind of a ball. <laughs> 95! That is a pretty impressive roll. And you got seven. seven. <laughs> That's also kind of impressive. <laughs> so I will be going first, and we will see you in game one. All right, game one, Shamand. So, got some of that stuff. Yoink. And we've got. those Whoop. all right so here is a battlefield forge which will tap for a colorless and a consulate dreadnought go ahead draw for turn we're gonna play a very exciting mountain that's your go all right draw we're gonna also play a mountain and heart of kieran go draw for turn Mountain. And here is a young pyromancer. Okay. Enter go. Draw. 
Another mountain. A Peace Walker Colossus. Good. This is going to be a curve into something ridiculous, <laughs> isn't it? Maybe. I have got one, two, three so far. Tormenting Voice. Discarding mm -hmm. Arc like Phoenix. That is the best one to discard. And that is an instant. Or sorcery. So we got to draw. Or we got to make one. And then yeah. we draw two from that. And... Steam Vents... Um, I think we're going to make it untapped. Okay. And... You don't have the mana to No, I can't that. do anything. Attack you for two. Eighteen. And it is your go. So you're clearly leaving up something. What that thing is, I don't know. But let's find out. Sacred Founder, untapped, sixteen. Boys, we're going to start our engines. <laughs> yep. <laughs> so, vehicles I control become artifact creatures until end of turn. Creatures I control get plus two plus O oh until end of turn. Oh, it's even creatures. So, yep. you had a SRAM or something around. Yes, it counts him as well. Counts him. So, uh, yeah. So, nine, uh, 17, and then six in the air. Well, I will be nice. And I will give your consulate dreadnought haste. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Draw make, a card, get a man. Make a dude and draw a card. And block the two on the ground. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Take six. You got it. Twelve. Go. <laughs> Probably not the most exciting start your engines, but it's pretty sweet. <laughs> Drop return. Made you waste a card and a couple tokens. So I'll take it. Here is a Sulphur Falls. Mm -hmm. And here is um, another young Pyromancer. Okay. And then attack you for two. We'll take that. Fourteen. Enter go. Untap. Draw a card. Um, is that worth it? Might be. Get two things out of it, probably. Okay. Here's a Nahiri, the Harbinger, who will. Let me think here. Is that worth taking out a Pyromancer? Probably not. Could keep it around, potentially. I'm going to go up to six. Discard a Consulate Dreadnought. Draw a card. <laughs> okay. Um, and then remove a counter from that to activate Heart of Kieran. And attack you for four. Well, I shall... Lightning Strike Nahiri. Sure. Two. Round to two. Make two one ones. And uh, I can't block that, so I got eight. Two. Untap. Drop return. Sort of an, an interesting conundrum. Because you need to both leave blockers, but you also have Nahiri that you can easily take out. Steam vents tapped. Well, you can activate them. Activate that heart to block, which is yep. a little annoying. True. So uh, instead, we're going to finale promise for two. Okay. Getting a tormenting voice and a lightning strike. Sure. So I cast finale. Yep. And then these also go on the stack. Mm-hmm. 
Bleh. Gross. <laughs> so, uh, lightning strike that. Yep. Dead and woman. Tormenting voice, I shall discard I'm actually this. gonna, before that happens, I'm gonna activate this with a loyalty yep. counter. Makes sense. So, discard the steaming, or, yeah, steaming vents to the, the tormenting voice. <laughs> yep. Draw two. Go to combat. Mm-hmm. Ah. And, uh, that's not a permanent. True. Uh, does this get exiled? It does not. Just the other cards do. Just the other two. So, you have six tokens that entered this turn, right? Yes. Okay. And attacking with my phoenix this turn doesn't seem like a thing I'd want to do. Mm-hmm. And I don't think getting one damage through is also <laughs> worth it. Not with no mana. Yeah. So it's your go. So I'm going to just, for funsies, Heart of Kieran's going to get into Peace Walker Colossus. And yep. then Peace Walker Colossus is going to get into Consulate Dreadnought. <laughs> <laughs> Untapped. Draw. <laughs> Some weird Power Rangers assemblies going on. Yeah. I mean, the heart could power a Colossus. It's true. And then the Colossus rides the boat. It makes sense. Mm -hmm. uh, that's so many guys, though. Yeah, who needs multiple Phoenixes when you have multiple Viromancers? Exactly. Nahiri. <laughs> um, go up, because don't have any valid targets. So we'll discard Smuggler's Copter. Draw a card. The Looter Scooter! Yeah, poor thing. Poor thing. Got banned in standard, but here it is. <laughs> um, there's almost no point in running that out, but... Yeah, there's no point in running that out. Go ahead. Well, actually... I think it's a safe attack. Attack. <sighs> yeah, we gotta take four. <laughs> On tap. Drop a turn. Spire Bluff Canals, mm -hmm. which uh, is definitely not on time here. True. <laughs> that it is not. Here is a cackling Drake. Mm. Which is which is pretty small at the moment. Yeah. <laughs> No, it counts the exiled swarm, Oh, it counts it exiled! A, yeah, since oh, it wasn't the format cool. that had those yeah. uh, jumpstart cards. Oh, that makes sense, yeah. Sweet. So it is a 4-4. Four, four. Mm -hmm. And... We're going to attack Nahiri for... Uh, 6, 7, 8. Uh... Block one. Block <laughs> And she's dead. Super dead. And it is your go. Unsap. Please land number five. That's not land number five. It will do, though. Sahili. Yeah. Who will have five counters? Here's a Mox Amber, so get a 1-1 one, one from that, which I'm just Non-creatures, right? Yeah. Yep, non-creature spells. Uh, so servos are somewhere, but that's okay, I'll use a human. Thank you. Um, let me see here. Probably don't want to send heart in, because you'll kill it. Um, go. Untap.
Yeah, so Healy's sweet with the like cheap artifacts, but unfortunately copying a vehicle that's been crewed just turns that thing back into the vehicle, mm -hmm. which sucks. Temple. To the bottom with ye. Yeah, I think kind of sucks, but tormenting voice, mm -hmm. discarding a cathartic reunion yep. to draw two cards. And of course that gets us two more elementals. And here is a Jace Vryn's Prodigy. Little buddy. Little buddy. And... Attack Sahili for four, five, six, seven. Attacking her for seven. Hmm. Okay, she'll go down to four to crew heart of Kieran. Yeah. Then gotta take a damage to activate this if I want to. So do I want to or do I just I don't know if that one damage is actually going to matter. Which is sad to say, but I'm not actually sure if it's going to matter. Probably not. So I'm going to just block one of them, and she can die. And it is your go. Unzap. Draw. All right, moment of truth, Battlefield Forge. Here's a Sky Sovereign, console flagship. Three damage to you. Go to one. Um, I get anything else off the ground? Not really. <laughs> I think I'm just dead. <laughs> Go ahead. You took away my ability to copy that and attack with one. So. Oh, yeah. Oh, God, that <laughs> which would have been Which would have been the <laughs> yeah, that three on immediately. Three but, immediately. Yeah, I don't think even if I pointed that three at, like... Well, actually, how big is Drake's butt? Four. Okay. Yeah, it's four. Yeah. So there's not really anything I could do there. I think I'm just dead on board. So, yeah, go ahead. Unfortunately, so got all these vehicles. So, turn, <laughs> we'll bolt you. Sure. Eleven. No, it's not bolt. It's almost bolt. Almost bolt. Untap. Close game, though. Yeah, that's... I was like... I start your engines. Though he discarded the looter scooter, so he must not have that. Mm -hmm. But yeah, the consulate flagship, that was... Uh... Yeah. So, I, glad, plus... so glad I decided to just get rid of that Sahili. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, I mean, you've gotten rid of all the... All those planeswalkers actually would have come in very useful because it was sort of keeping me off of five mana every time you killed one. <laughs> I had this in my opener. Draw for turn. That doesn't matter. No, I'm just down on board. So. so tap Jace. Yeah. To draw a card. Discard a fiery temper, mm -hmm. which I will cast to deal three damage to you from madness. Eight. Getting me two elementals that can't attack. Yep. And uh, five or more cards, uh, we manage that. Yep. Can you flash one back? And then, yes, let's flash back a lightning strike. Okay. Five. Two more elementals here, but it yep. shouldn't matter. And... 
swing for lethal eight, ten, thirteen, fifteen, seventeen. 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. <laughs> Game two. <laughs> All right. Game two. Show me hand. Have that this time. That's sweet. Good. And we've got those. Whoop. All right. Clip top retreat. Go. Unexciting. Drop return. There's steam vents. Tapped. Go. Ayo. Draw. Nice. Mountain. Ceram. Mox Amber. Tap for a white. Consulate Dreadnought. Draw a card. Go. Untap. Drop return. Mountain. Jace. Ah! Alright. Enter go. I was expecting this to die. <laughs> yeah, I'd like that to die too. Siege modification on Consulate Dread. <laughs> oh, that yeah. is an aura. So I draw a card. Yeah. And that just gives it plus three and first strike. Ah, yes. Yes. That, that will be important from your 10-11. 12. Uh, yeah, I'll take that. <laughs> That's turn. Go. Go eight. Untap. Draw for turn. Okay. Mountain. Mm-hmm. Young Pyromancer. Yep. Tap to draw a card. Mm hmm And discard a Fiery Temper. Ah. Which will be three damage to that. He did get, his job. Get I'll, a, make a, I'll make a white, because why not? Get a 1-1. One, one. Yep. Enter go. This is the part where you stabilize <laughs> entirely with a bunch of little dudes. Probably. Um... Let's go for Sahili, Sublime Artificer. Um... Oh, thank you. Well, yes. Uh, haven't played a so land yet. You right? got blue mana over there now. It's true. Haven't played a land yet, right? Nope. Battlefield Forge. Tap for a colorless. Smuggler's Copter, which is a non-creature spell when I cast it. Yeah. <laughs> so I get a servo. I, uh... Well, it's not really close to uh, dealing with a flyer. Mm. <laughs> at least it doesn't have the siege modification. You're at eight? I'm at eight. So, Consulate Dreadnought is a smuggler's copter now. Oh, no. <laughs> Crew it. <laughs> well, you don't. Oh, no, that doesn't yeah. work because that would fall off. Oh, no, it doesn't fall off it because fall this off stays on and vehicle. keeps it. Yeah, so I don't even have to crew it. You don't even have to crew it. Beautiful. <laughs> That's exactly what I like to hear. So that is that is six. Tacky for six. I got two. I will discard Battlefield Forge <laughs> and draw a card. Oh, I have to draw a card then discard a card. It's not the other way around. But that works out anyway. Because <laughs> that would have been what I discarded. Oh, that's worrying. <laughs> Go ahead. That's funny. <laughs> Untap. <laughs> Never even thought of that. Yeah, it stays on. Cause, it stays on. Cause yeah. <laughs> rough return. Oh no. Oh no. It is your go. Zoom. Draw. Because that's just crew on. Yes. Yeah. But I can also just siege modificate. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That servo doesn't even have to get in. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? Boosh. Are you not going to turn it into the flyer? Uh, well, I guess I should, shouldn't I? Because... Just in case. Just in case you have the thing. But, I mean, you could do it in response, I suppose. But yeah, okay. Yeah, I'll do that. Then. 
Turn that into Smuggler's Copter. Yeah. Yeah. Then smash. Then smash. Well, this is... Discard, or er, draw, discard, It's the moment draw, of truth. Discard. Draw a card. I, I needed that to be I, a lightning strike, because here's... Oh! We're going to discard, <laughs> and we're going to kill that one. Sure. And I needed a lightning strike <laughs> for the other. And we yes! gotta have it. <laughs> Consulate Dreadnought. Get Earth Smuggler's Copy, yeah. whichever. <laughs> however you want to look at it. I'm gonna turn my 7 11 into a 3 3. <laughs> Five, or uh, 6 3. Yeah. Come on now. <laughs> All right. So that was game two. And we will see you in game three. All right, game three. Go ahead. We've got. Those. And for myself. That's the hand I'm working with. Go ahead. It's the first time you're on the play with this deck. It is. Temple of Epiphany. And... Bottom with you. Drago. Draw. Oh. Eh, probably not worth it. Mountain. Right, I should do the arena style. Sorry. Uh, scry zero on top, one on bottom. <laughs> really? You have to do it that way? Well, that's like it just says. Oh. Uh, it makes sense for like higher scries, but yeah. on temples it's always funny <laughs> to me. Uh, it says scry zero top. <laughs> Play 7 11. Good. Get a Slurpee. Untap. Drop a turn. Um, steam vents untapped. Mm-hmm. Your favorite card. Every game! <laughs> you got that. <laughs> Good? Yeah. Clifftop retreats, which conveniently comes in untapped. And here's a smuggler's copter. Go. Untap. Drop return. I don't think it's worth it. Steam vents tapped. Tack you for two. 18. Enter go. Draw. Well. Sure. SRAM. Go. End of your turn. Actually, yeah. crew this. Yeah. <laughs> go. Untap. Draw for turn. I was, you know, kind of expecting a, a bit more card selection here. I could use a third land. Opt. That's pretty good card selection. Uh, zero on top, one on the bottom. <laughs> Drop. That will be great. Next turn. Spire Bluff Canal's not on time. Yep. Fifteen. No. Three. Fifteen. Yeah. We have we have one already. Good. Yes. Well, you might be a bit late. You might be a bit late. I think you are a little bit late. Peace Walker Colossus. Go. Untap. Drop return. Not really the card I want all the copies of. You got a ton of pressure, though. And chump blockers for days. Yeah. Yeah, I do kind of have all the pressure. It's just, you know, this is a Phoenix deck. <laughs> True. <laughs> Here's a crackling drake. Ugh. Yep. Draw a card. Ah, it's the worst one, too. <laughs> Steam vents tapped. Mm -hmm. And, uh. I'm kind of worried about a start your engines. So just two. 13. Enter go. Yeah, this deck can kill out of nowhere, but. 
Not at this rate. So Healy. Five things on it. Mox Amber. Make a servo. Mm, still missing that land. But I guess that's a sort of acceptable alternative. Mm. Your Drake is a 2 4. Yeah. Attack, draw, block, discard. Yep, go. Untap. Missed land again. Drop return. You know, I'd love to miss a land drop. <laughs> Island. <laughs> I only have 20 lands in this deck, so the fact that I'm just only drawing those is a little, mm. uh, a little annoying. So I think, shouldn't I do that? Hmm. So you can't crew, well, I guess it's already tapped. Yeah. Yeah, you don't have to worry about blockers. If that's your concern. So we can lightning strike Sahili. Yeah. And then and that gives us an elemental. And then attack Sahili for two and you for three. Ten dead. And it is your go. Lander bust. That's a land. Alright. Battlefield Forge. Colorless. Nahiri, exile that. And now take it from your exile pile and throw it across the room. <laughs> Please. And thank you. Um, it's probably not worth it, so go. End of your turn. We're going to lightning strike. Oh my god! <laughs> okay. <laughs> I just drew out the lightning strikes. And pyromancers, apparently. Ugh. Untap. Rough return. Yeah, I thought this would be a better matchup than it apparently is. <laughs> Land. And, yes. So you can crew a smuggler's copter, which can crew... And we'll probably eat lightning strike number three. <laughs> or number four. four, sorry. Sorry, everybody. <laughs> Tack you for four. Absolute. Oops, not, not that one. <laughs> Absolutely, crew block. Or crew. Am I allowed to block? Uh, yeah. Before blocks, it's not a lightning strike. It's a fiery temper. Yay. Yep. Pick four. You didn't want to crew another vehicle in I response can't. to that. Four, six. Oh. Yeah. So four. I took it. Six. <laughs> Your go. <sighs> Dreadnought. Copter. Go. On tap. Draw for turn. Pieces of the puzzle. Yep. So I gotta reveal the top five cards. Mm -hmm. And put one or up to two incense and or sorceries from them into my hand. Don't get much choice on that and matter. <laughs> the, and the rest into the graveyard. Yep. Which is my other Drake, which is very sad. And also no phoenixes. Mm -hmm. Yay. I, 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 word on the street was you're a phoenix deck. <laughs> I think we've seen one phoenix. <laughs> so here's uh, pieces of the puzzle. Sure. Two guys out of that, too. Oh, there's a phoenix. There's two phoenixes. Phoenixes. Well, and, this is uh, gross. Yeah, so we get uh, this guy. Yep. And the rest go into the graveyard. Yep. Mm -hmm. And yep. then... Yep, yep. Yep, 
yep, yep, yep, yep. And then we'll expediate my young pyromancer. Sure. Give him haste. Actually, you know what? Your servo can have haste. Yeah, why not? And draw a card. And finally, <laughs> move to combat. I mean, you should have hit one of those tokens, probably, that was created this turn. Oh, yeah, I guess. I forgot about those guys. I don't think they're necessary. No. Because here's... Definitely the... not. Well, you're at... Yeah, you're at six. I'm at six. So, six in the air. Six on the ground. Yeah. I mean, crew the copter. And I'll block a phoenix. Draw... Discard, Heart of Kieran, and lose. You got me. <laughs> All right, well, that was unexciting for, for the, how the I, other two games were. I did, I did finally get my Phoenixes, though. You did. You did. Um, I don't believe yeah, did I even, it. Have I even, did I even touch you once that game? Uh, I don't think I no, did. I think, that's, I think you dealt with every that... single thing I did. Yeah. And I... then some. But, uh, Young Pyro and a lightning yeah. strike and then a lightning strike mm. and then a lightning strike and then I had to use a yep. three mana one. But that's what happens. That's magic. So new format, pretty fun. I'm enjoying it. So yeah, far. It is, I was worried it looked like it didn't have depth too much. But, yeah, uh, it, it does actually. I'm, there's a lot of interesting mechanics. There's interesting. Th- there's interesting things that you can do. I am a little worried that there's like three best decks that are just. You'd be stupid to not play one of those three. I don't know what they are yet. I'm pretty sure Jeskai Ascendancy is one of them because it's faster than like every other combo yeah. deck by a turn. Jeskai um, Ascendancy does seem interesting. Mm-hmm. And uh, lots of Thought Seizes running around too. Yeah. Thought Spirits, is probably the best Spirits from Modern has most of its pieces, mm-hmm. so having a control deck like that seems pretty good. Yeah. But it is missing a lot of the good counter There's probably magic, some but... collected company list that's nuts too. Yeah. Well, there's, I mean, there's, it's, it's a, it's a wide open format, so there's lots of room for experimentation. But I am a little concerned that there's going to be some bans pretty soon. Well, that was, <laughs> I think that was the point. Yes. Yeah. They're see, like, let everything in, see what happens. Yeah, like when you remember when you had that in fact with the uh, discard. Uh, oh, blazing shoal, yeah, 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 blazing yeah. shoal. In fact, just like they're just consistent like, turn two kills. Like, What's the most broken <laughs> stuff? Well, we'll host the tournament and yeah. we'll find out real quick. Well, the thing is, so so the the thing that's kind of neat about this format is I noticed the point they selected was like the point where I think some of the design changed and they stopped really printing things that are broken by themselves or that like fit really nicely into like Infect, for instance, is sort of yes. like intrinsically broken. But there are a lot of like things that you could think are broken, but they don't really get there till like turn five or six. Yeah. So like it's interesting. There's a bunch of Delve cards in this yeah. format. Treasure Cruise, Dig Through Time, you'd think, like, you can play four of each of those? Are you crazy? But then, like, <laughs> There's no the lines. odds of you even casting one of them are pretty low. Yeah, you, you can't fill your graveyard yeah. as easily, so. Mm-hmm. And if if any deck could, it would be yours, but then yeah. you don't want those. I have, <laughs> because yeah, you have I have, decks. like, the pieces, uh-huh. but, and then I have one, what is it, Tygam Scheming, which mm-hmm. I cast, because yeah. it's it doesn't draw you a card, but it, it, does it fills the graveyard, the graveyard so. Yeah. Um, there Phoenix are Phoenixes, it seems reasonable, yeah, but I are... didn't even end up with a treasure cruise because I'm like, it's true. Yeah, well, I it's, kind of it's need them in there. Yeah, if it's a I need to, you know, cast. Mm-hmm. Uh, where is it? Finale of Promise. I need those if I need to rebuy Phoenixes for a turn. So yeah. I don't want to treasure mm-hmm. cruise. Yeah, exactly. And there's no way you're gonna cast <laughs> and that at nine. So bad when so. you're like, treasure cruise isn't good enough card in this deck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's kind of nuts. Like I'm sure they're probably both really good in the Jeskai Ascendancy list still. But, yeah, well, because yeah. you're just going to dump your graveyard mm-hmm. into there. But yeah, not having fetch lands surprisingly does make this format a lot weaker. Like, a lot noticeably weaker. Um, but it's pretty fun, so we'll keep doing it. Um, got some other exciting stuff uh, that we'll probably be doing next week. We were going to do it this week, but we decided to do Pioneer instead. And I'm still waiting on some cards. Um, yeah, so see you next week. Bye! Thank you.